So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we're going to be talking about why you should be playing Ark Survival Evolved this month, October 2020. This is going to be one of the most content packed months that we've had for a very long time on Ark. So I'm very excited to bring you guys all of the videos as the updates do go live. Now, if you've been watching my videos for the last month, you probably know what's to come in this update. But there is also some news for you guys that may know about this already, because we're going to be talking about the release dates first before we go into the news about what the content is. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video and you are hyped about Ark's big October updates, smash that like button right now. If we could try and hit over 1,000 likes, that would mean so much to me. I know that's a lot to ask on a video that isn't an update, obviously going live, but if everyone right now hits the like button, we might be able to reach that target. Make sure to be subscribed if you don't want to miss out on all the content coming your way this month, and let's get in with today's video. So there's three main updates come into the game. Two of the stuff comes in one patch and then one comes separately later on. And I'm going to be mentioning what that is right now. So TLC phase three is the first dino update we have had in over two years. Only two dinos are getting changed. But as I've mentioned, I'm going to be talking about that later on for people that don't know already. And also in, in the same update is going to be the balance and quality of life update part two. You should be expecting news on this update to be going live um, in a community crunch this upcoming Friday, um, which we, which is when we should be getting the news number 241 of the community crunch. And then the update should be going live about a few days later. So on average, we should be looking about a week to a week and a half to be getting this TLC phase three update with the balance and quality of life. So if I were to give an, a date, uh, like it's quite hard on the spot. If I were to go around about the 15th of October is when, I, when I'm probably just from my experience because obviously I've been doing arc videos for so long that is around about the time you guys will be able to see this anytime really after Friday obviously when we get the news of the community crunch is what you guys should be looking out for this is going to be a great update and I'll be explaining to you guys about it if you need to know more very very soon now later on in the year is the Halloween event not fear evolved 3 it will be fear evolved 4 now, as you guys can see, the start date for Fear Evolved 3 was actually the 22nd of October. So there is actually a chance we might be seeing that, obviously, TLC update a little bit earlier because I know Wildcard like to spread their updates apart. And that lasted until November the 8th. You usually get around about two weeks of the Halloween event and it's usually nowhere near as big as the TLC update because the T especially as there's only two dinos being changed in this, we're probably looking at um, we're, we're, we're probably looking at about 20 gigabytes plus for this update and for the fear evolved one, you're probably only looking at about 10. So this one, as I'm as mentioned last year, was the 22nd. So expect it sometime similar to that. They may push it back a little bit later because that's quite early, um, considering Halloween is the 31st. So maybe expect it a little bit closer to Halloween, considering there's going to be two updates. So I hope that has given you guys like an understanding on the release dates for this month. So there is a lot to expect because sometimes we go a few months without anything on Arc, which is pretty annoying. Now, if you already know what's coming, then you probably won't want to hear about this. But if you don't, there is going to be changes to the Woolly Mammoth in the game and the Stegosaurus. Now, these two are going to be absolutely crazy. And a lot of people are thinking that they're going to be part of the new meta on PvP, especially mainly the Mammoth being some sort of War Mammoth. They're going to be having visual changes, as you guys will be able to see on the screen. But there's new abilities such as the War Drum Saddle Buff, um, which is where there's two an extra additional passenger on the Woolly Mammoth. And when the War Drums are played, it gives it a, a buff and it makes it immune to fear. It also has new attacks such as the Tusk Sweep, which, tu tu uh, which obviously sweeps tusks left or right to gather um, uh, or harvest thatch. We've got the Trumpet, which is a roar that does a debuff to enemies within range. Um, it's got the Foot stump Stomp, which is a forward slam. And it has a Trunk Grab, which you'll be able to grab and release smaller targets using the uh, Mammoth's Trunk. 
The Stegosaurus is going to be getting obviously visual changes, not as much as the Mammoth. I feel like the visual changes are a lot less compared to the past TLCs. They really, really did change it, but I suppose obviously we'll be seeing the biggest changes when we actually get into the game. Now, there isn't the biggest changes to the Stego either. There's new abilities, which is the uh, called the backplate modes, which is where there is a hardened plate mode, heavy plate mode, and sharpened plate mode. In the hardened plate, it applies a damage reduction buff and prevents riders from being dismounted by enemies, and it has a wood harvesting benefit. The heavy plate mode applies a slow when attacking with the basic tail whip, and it is a fatch a thatch harvesting benefit and the sharpened plate mode applies an armor penetration at uh, um, when attacking with the tail whip and is also useful for harvesting berries. There is a new attack which is the impaling tail uh, whip which you're able to impale and immobilize players and smaller creatures. Now that is the main TLC changes and then obviously there's the balance and quality of life. I have mentioned what that is in a few videos as well but basically just to give it a little bit of a summary when these updates do come, it makes changes to things like breeding in the game, it makes changes to like different building mechanics in the game, um, what else can I think, it, it sort of, um, as it's a balance, it balances certain creatures out, so there may be some more changes to creatures, um, but not visually and abilities, they may just make creatures more powerful like they did with the Kano, gave it new abilities in the last um, balance quality of life update. Uh, what else? Just sort of more balance to do with different weapons and uh, the way the meta works. And quality of life is probably more towards, as I mentioned, building structures and adding in different um, building uh, stuff from the uh, like the S Plus mods. You may see some modded sort of content added in with this as well. So that is, in a whole, it's a very exciting update. And that's why I love October, especially because you know you're always going to have the Halloween update as well. So with this one, there, the reason why it's usually a small update to other stuff is it's just an event where the leaves on several uh, on the most trees in the several maps are brown and orange instead of green. Night lasts longer than usual. The climate is a bit colder than usual. We have times two rates. Uh, loads of different dino colours there. I've already kind of read through them lots and lots of times before. Um, bone creatures come out, so you'll start seeing bone wyverns. Uh, Dodo wyvern comes out. The Dodo rex comes out. You get zombie wyverns flying down. Down. And with the Dodo Wyvern and Dodo Rex, you will get zombie an army of zombie Dodos that will come up and attack you as well um, for the Halloween event. You'll get loads of new items and skins. And this year, you're most likely going to be seeing chibis as well for the skeleton dinos. That's what we're expecting, I think. I could be wrong, um, but I think I'm pretty much sure there's going to be like a chibi Dodo Rex and Dodo Wyvern and then maybe some skeleton chibis as well to do with that. You'll be getting loads more emotes and costumes that you can wear to get yourself in the Halloween spirit for Ark. There is obviously a trailer which I'm sure many of you guys have seen from my videos before that I always leave at the end of the video for the Halloween update. If you need to know about what last year was like because I do find it a really awesome trailer. But apart from that, that is your October 2020 summed up for Ark. What a month it is going to be like and to considering it's to be honest we're at, we're at the 6th of uh, October now we're not far away from the first one this Friday could be a very exciting one when we will be finding out the times and the release date for what day to expect. Bear in mind, Wildcard like to release updates on Tuesdays, so there's always a chance it could be next Tuesday in a week's time. I don't know, I'm just throwing that in from experience. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Let's try and smash that 1,000 like target. Subscribe if you're new around here. Good luck if you are coming back to play Ark this month because it is going to be fun. Whether that's single player, that's the awesome thing. Or if it's just to come on and check the new dinos, it's always nice to come back or keep on playing your favourite game. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.